Hey everyone, uh, Rich here from My Gold, New Zealand's highest reviewed gold buyers and bullion traders. Putting a little video together for you today uh, to talk about the prevalence of uh, fake gold bars that are out there. So just from looking at these PAMP Swiss one ounce gold minted bars, can you tell which ones are real and which ones are not? The fakes are getting pretty good, however there are some fairly clear ways that we can detect them and tell you fairly quickly if they're genuine or not. So buying the wrong uh, gold bar can be a very costly mistake for investors. The fake bars are actually available alongside genuine gold bars today on New Zealand's TradeMe, which is the equivalent of uh, eBay, Craigslist, or a little bit like Amazon. So, you know, they're out there and uh, people, people have them. So a couple of things we notice right off the bat, and let's tell you which are the fake bars. It's this bar right here and this bar. But if we just sort of bring them up to the camera here a little bit closer, you can see they're actually pretty good. So the bar on the left being the fake bar and the bar on the right being a genuine product. We look at the color of the gold first. Generally it's pretty similar. Product on the left is perhaps a bit more coppery. Also if we look a bit closer with the minting, there is a, there is a difference in the minting quality. You'll see with the matte finish and the shiny finish. If we flip these bars over for a moment, granted the fake product on the back has quite a bit of scratching on the packet, but the one on the left is a bit more coppery, which will become obvious why later. Uh, next, if we're looking at the packaging of these two, fake bar on the left, genuine bar on the right, size of the packets is identical, quality of the printing is fairly good on the one on the right. So the bar on the left, not as nicely done, even on the package on the back. They've got a serial number um, etched onto the bar. However, that serial number is nowhere near as clearly defined as the genuine product. And the minting quality perhaps is even more obvious on the, on the back here. So one quick way you'd be able to pick up the fake bar here would be to use Pamp Swiss's Veriscan app on your mobile phone, and that'll pick up that product straight away. However, if you have an older Pamp Swiss gold minted product, it may not have this very scan technology. Next thing to look at with these bars is the thickness. There is quite a difference in the thickness between these two, with the product on the right being a genuine and the product on the left not being so. Um, dimensions of the bar also fairly comparable. So when they're making a fake, obviously they need to get the dimensions right. However, in this case, they've gone for the outside measurements Clearly they're not able to make it as thin as a real gold bar would be. So there's potentially twice the thickness there. So you can pick that up on inspection. The next quick way you could test a product potentially using a very strong magnet, a neodymium magnet. However, in this case, copper being non-magnetic as well, that's not gonna be of uh, much help. So next test that we recommend as being essential would be an XRF test, which any reputable gold bullion trader would have a machine like that. So this is the XRF machine. We're gonna put the genuine Pamp Swiss gold minted bar in here first, and we'll show you guys what to expect for the results. So even though it's in the plastic packaging, um, sometimes you can get a little bit of uh, what it's thinking is a trace element in here. However, straight away, this is showing this is 24 karat or pure gold. So XRF machines are great. However, if an item is heavily plated, uh, there's a good chance that that's not going to pick it up because we're only looking at a few microns below the surface. Okay, so now we're going to test the fake uh, PAMP Swiss gold minted bar and we'll show you what the results are. So instantly this is coming up as zero carat with some zinc, nickel, a little bit of gold and silver as well. Also it's just telling us that uh, that is likely plated. So that's an XRF in action showing us that that bar is not a genuine PAMP Swiss bar. Okay, another test you could do would be using the gold screen box, which uses electrical conductance to instantly check whether an item is of the metal that it should be, in this case, pure gold. So if we switch that on here, pick gold, so that's set up to be calibrated for gold, and we'll see instantly that's gonna come up in the reference range here for pure gold, the genuine bar, and it's well within that, the fake bar isn't even close. So that's telling us instantly. So fantastic little machine, highly recommended. They're available for purchase through MyGold. 
Naturally, perhaps one of the easiest ways you could tell if a gold bar is genuine or not is bring it to a reputable dealer such as ourselves. My goal based in Auckland, New Zealand, we're able to help out test product for you and uh, be able to tell you through various means if a product is genuine or not. Some little quick methods you can employ to help you avoid purchasing fake product and avoid being uh, hit in the wallet. You gotta be so careful out there. Hope you enjoyed the video.